obviously I cheated. You know, I've been f***ing with some of these chicks and the staff and the Celtics uh, organization. I know you ain't supposed to do that shit, but I was horny, you know. Hey, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Imagine a Dot, back with another banger for you, as they say. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Emi Udoka. If you didn't hear the story yet, guys, he's the head coach of the Boston Celtics. He pretty much brought these boys out of their trenches to the playoffs, to the finals, but they couldn't take it home. He is on the fire for cheating on his wife, aka Nia Long. You know what J. Cole said, man. My only regret is I was too young for Nia Long. Oh, that, that bars is so fire. So two days ago, Bleach reported tweeted out this. Even Yudoka allegedly made unwanted comments towards a female staffer, which prompted an internal investigation. Some Celtic staffers became aware of Yudoka's relationship with the woman in July, but thought it was consensual. Pearl, Sam, Shania. So pretty much your boy probably said something, something pretty crazy or they had something going on and they broke it off and then he continued to pursue this woman possibly. Okay guys, so following this tweet, we got another tweet from Wo Adrian Wojowski, AKA Woj. He tweeted this, Boston Celtics coach Emi Yudaka is likely facing a suspension for the entire 2022 to 23 season for his role in the concessional relationship with a female staff member. Sources tell ESPN that former announcement is expected as soon as today. So really they are trying to suspend my man for a whole season though, man, just for having a side piece. I feel like, yo, man, he had a size piece. He should just be suspended for like a month or so. But like, come on, man, a whole season. That's a little pretty harsh. Chris Haynes even jumped in on this. He says Boston Celtics head coach Emi Yudaka will not be resigning from his position as he awaits sanction from the organization, lead sources tell. Next bit of news we have from the official Boston Celtics new release. It said this, some members of the Celsius organization first became aware of the relationship in July. Sources said, at this time, leadership was led to believe by both parties that the relationship was consensual. But sources said the woman recently accused Yuduka of making an unwanted comment toward her, leading the team to launch a set of internal interviews. So pretty much, they probably had something going on, like I said before, they had... It had something going on. It was all good and groovy until one party was like, yo, let's break this off. And she's saying that my guy was kept pursuing her and kept saying like freaky things probably to her, man. So Stephen A. Smith really had a problem with this whole story. First thing first, we got a clip of him pretty much saying he has a problem with the organization. Pretty much, if he wasn't gonna fire the dude, why put his story on the front page? Why blast him? But I'm gonna play the clips. What I will say is this, and this is a message to the Boston Celtics. I got a problem with you as an organization. Because if you're not going to fire him, why the hell do we even know about this story? Nobody's bringing that up. I'm gonna bring it up. So if you're going to retain him, why let us know now? Why I have a problem with an organization. This is not about what transpired on the basketball court. This is not basketball decisions. If the reports say it's two consenting adults, and no matter how unfavorable or egregious we may think their consensual behavior is, the fact of the matter is, it's none of the public's damn business. So Matt Barnes has something to say about this. Even though he's on vacation, he's still touching on the subject. We're gonna play the video right now. I'm gonna let you know what I think of it. I've been in the league for a lot. Played in the league for a long time. Anyone who played in the league could tell you this is a very common situation. This is not new news for people who've been in the league or even around organizations. I've seen it from owners to executives to coaches to players to trainers to therapists to dancers to PR ladies like this is not uncommon and to just bring some context to it the NBA just suspended Sarver for all the shit he did and he got a year too so you're trying to tell me what Robert Sarver did and Yudoka did or even on the same level even on in the same book 
yet they warranted the same amount of time. This is a bad look, man. The Celtics, whoever made this, this decision, it was a terrible decision. You want to find a man 15, 20, 25 games, but a whole season for a consensual situation that not only happens in the NBA, but happens in every single workplace. This was a terrible call, man. Y'all let me know what you think down below. Tracked in his statements, and I kind of know why, but I'm gonna play the clip here and then give you what I think it was after. They won't come out and say it. And since I'm a part of the media now, and I try not to be like everyone else, uh, I try to, you know, report and talk with facts and, and, and honesty. And I clearly have to say last night, uh, without knowing all the facts, I spoke on Ime Yudoka's defense. And after finding out the facts after I spoke, I erased what I posted because this situation in Boston is deep, it's messy, it's a hundred times uglier than any of us thought. And that's why I erased what I said. Uh, some things happened that I can't condone, I can't back. And it's not my place to tell you what happened. If it ends up coming out, it ends up coming out. But that was the reason why I erased my post last night because after I posted it, I got a call from someone who had all the details and this shit is deep. So, so my speculation, allegedly, I'm gonna say allegedly again, guys, so y'all don't spin this out of control. I feel like Matt Barnes retracted his statements because he probably found out that Yudoka got shorty pregnant and he probably wanted her to get like an abortion or something like that. So and she probably was like, nah, Yudoka, you crazy. We having this baby. And he probably was not with it and he just kept trying to push the issue like, yo, I'm with Nia Long and I cannot have this child, dude. So I know Nia Long is in shambles. She told TMZ this, guys. She said the outpouring of love and support from my family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. I ask that my privacy be respected as I process the recent events. All the above, I am a mother and I will continue to focus on my children. Pretty much saying, I'm a do me. Anyway, that's all the news I have for you today. It's your boy Imagine a Dot. It's never about the points. It's only about a dot. Nothing else. Peace out.